It's Friday, time for the weekly update from the mayor's office. I started the week off by issuing a proclamation recognizing that October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and recognizing the great work that our local YWCA does in helping the victims of domestic violence. The folks from the YWCA were kind enough to give us a purple bow, which we will proudly display on the door of our office for the month. Next was the tour of the Frank G. Klinsky Center. It's a treatment a transitional living facility for men struggling with substance uh, misuse and addiction. There's really good work going on over there. Knoxville is hosting this year's Tennessee Recreation and Parks Association Conference. I was happy and proud to welcome the TRPA members from across the state to our wonderful area here in East Tennessee. We have started an Employee of the Month program to recognize employees of Knox County who do exemplary work. Our two inaugural members of this important club are Carol Gorris from the Lawson McGee Library and Kendall Spirizzi from the Regional Forensic Center. Carol has been with the library for 52 years and has helped innumerable students with their homework assignments. I am told that her prodigious memory and critical thinking skills make her a formidable rival for the internet, the whole thing. Kendall has played a key role in keeping operations going at the Regional Forensic Center in what has been an extremely busy and stressful time for them. Congratulations to both Carol and Kendall for a job well done. Sheriff Spangler organized a tour of the county's detention facility for county commission members and me. We are facing some real challenges with bed space in our jails. I am well aware of the issue and look forward to working with Sheriff Spangler, who's doing a great job. We're looking at options that can help. And we can never thank our, uh, our deputies enough, and that includes the folks working out at the corrections uh, facility. They have a tough job, and I appreciate them doing it in a professional manner. On Thursday, I was thrilled to have lunch with student veterans at the University of Tennessee's Veterans Resource Center. I even got to meet Shiloh, the therapy dog. Later that night, I dropped by the Vols for Vets General Clifton B. Gates Scholarship Gala, and I was also honored to speak at the Veterans Appreciation Dinner sponsored by East Tennessee PBS. Part of the proceeds from that dinner went to Wreaths Across America, which is a great program, put wreaths on the headstones of veterans in our veteran cemeteries, wonderful program. This week's lunch was at Love That Barbecue in South Knoxville. Next week, I'll be at the Pizza Palace in East Knoxville. That's all for this week. Everyone have a great weekend.